things, you know, just gathering all the uh, the bricks up to moving everything. Well, the uh, the crane is ripping it down. And good morning. So this is day two of the demolition for the old Woolworths Heart Store, and it is blowing an absolute gale. The car door nearly come off. But nevertheless, we're going to have a look, see what's the uh, the latest on this uh, demolition. So yeah, come and join me on uh, day two. So this is day two on the uh, demolition. We're just going to have a, a walk around the uh, the side of the building and uh, rejoin it at the uh, at the front. You see, someone's uh, so again some. Cane sugar just left on the uh, left on the trolley there. Look at that one. So day two, and you can see it's about half past eight, and the machines are already at it. And uh, there's no messing about with this one. And, uh, so you can see the uh, whole of the uh, the front of the building now is gone, and it is quite a lot of land. This one. See the uh, moving it from one side, so they're just clearing it so they can get further in. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people haven't been in this building for years and years. And um, we did day one, and a lot of people said, you know, it was an eyesore, it's dangerous, which it, it totally is. Um, so it is a good thing it is coming down. It's sad in one hand, but it's uh, it's good in another. Hopefully, it'll encourage uh, other businesses and shops to uh, start regenerating the area. So you see the uh, the sign there. Let's just do that. zoom in on that one. There it is, the, uh, the Bond Street sign. And uh, you see all that metal. Uh, what has been ripped out, the floor is completely uh, gone. If you have a look, as I'm zoomed in a little bit, you see the whole of the floor, it must have been like rotten. And uh, that's completely gone, you can smell it in the air, all the dust and the, uh, the debris. Yeah, so they're certainly uh, cracking on. So like this is uh, day two. Uh, they reckon they're going to complete this and it's all going to be uh, gone and cleared in five days and a couple of days just tidying the uh, the site up. And, uh, like I said, the, uh, the whole of the uh, the front roof is gone. So they're probably about, I'll say, uh, a quarter of the way into this project now. And uh, so many memories so many memories for people uh, this store had being the uh, Woolworths and uh, also the uh, the Christmas store we sold uh, Christmas decorations all year round I do believe and, uh, like I said this building is uh, just under a hundred years old so that's uh, that's incredible and you can uh, you can now see right into the uh, shops looks like there's a uh, been graffiti as you can see in the uh, in the past, and, uh, yeah, it's amazing just looking inside what used to be uh, such an iconic place. And uh, just another another angle for this one. You can see right through the uh, the store now. And uh, let's just uh, zoom in a little bit as well for you. So you can see uh, the whole of the uh, the front of the shop is now gone. The side is going, and they're certainly uh, motoring on with this one on day two. And uh, all what's standing, you see the uh, heart door straight in front. So that's the only thing what's uh, standing um, of this uh, this side. And a uh, little shop just. Uh, just a couple of shops down you see that used to be a fish and chips sea fresh and uh, that looks like it's all like antiques and 
pottery and all sorts in there now. But yeah, that used to be sea fresh fishing ships. So how unusual. That's number 21. So it's really, uh, really coming down now. And like I said, we're going to whip back to the, uh, the front of the store and uh, just see the, uh, the progress. Look at that metal girder. Look at that one, he's just ripping it like it was, uh, as I mentioned before, like a, a hot knife through butter. So it is about sort of nine-ish in the morning now, and like I said, I'm not too sure what time the uh, the started, but they must have started quite early. You see a huge, great pile of uh, debris, wood, and all sorts there, ready to be cleared. And you can have a look. You can see all the uh, graffiti. Looks like possibly people have been up in this building uh, in the past since it was closed in 2019, uh, and just uh, yeah finding the way in. So the weather is absolutely awful this morning. We had strong winds coming in throughout the night and uh, you can certainly tell it's, uh, it's awful in Blackpool again today. Yeah, so like I said, people look back on these videos and uh, remember the uh, the happy times, the shopping days, and uh, grabbing the uh, the Christmas decorations to make that Christmas so special um, for themselves and the family. So again, it is uh, it's very sad, but it did become uh, unfortunately uh, a very bad eyesore and dangerous. Swing in the uh, the arm. Look at that! Absolutely, uh, certainly incredible. I think we'll be, uh, they'll be closing the video soon. Uh, we may pop back later on or tomorrow for day three. Um, but yeah, they're certainly uh, certainly motoring on with uh, with this one. So uh, if you are if you are driving down, just be uh, prepared. The road is closed uh, on Bond Street, uh, going up. Um, so yeah, just be uh, just be careful if you are coming down this way. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all happening. It's uh, like I said, in a few more days, this will be uh, completely gone. So you can see uh, we got somebody uh, over there with his uh, with his camera capturing uh, capturing this. I'm not too sure if you can see. I'll take a photo. You might be able to see better on the uh, on the picture. You see, uh, there's actually it looks like Christmas decorations still attached to one of the uh, like poles in the middle. So I'll see if I can take a picture of it a close up. But yeah, there's the uh, remnants. I can't remember. I won't even use that word. So there's the uh, what word shall I use? There's the uh, uh, remnants. I think it's called. Of the uh, the Christmas decorations, yeah. So I'll put a, a couple of pictures uh, on the screen now, and uh, you can see, looking a little bit closer, 
looks like it's possibly older Christmas decorations what used to be up in this uh, iconic shop see they're just uh, emptying the uh, the skip now looks like they're taking it away and uh, just zoom in a little bit for you and uh, as quick as the empty it another one will turn up and work will uh, continue to go ahead so i hope you enjoyed this uh, bit of an update on day two of the uh, demolition on the old uh, Woolworths and Hearts store uh, and you can see like I said work is uh it's going ahead and it is an absolute blowing a complete gale so yeah stay tuned uh, we'll give you more updates as they uh, as they come in so until next time take care and it's a bye from me bye guys This is just a, a different angle, so it's on the uh, a bit of a side. You see the scaffolding is all up, and uh, you see the uh, an old window which is uh, boarded up, or well, not boarded up, shall I say, it's all with the, the iron rods. And uh, yeah, this is uh, it such as all this uh, obviously needs to come down. And, uh, see a little balcony up there a little plant pot so yeah this is at uh, the uh, the rear of the uh, of the building <laughs>